In this experiment, we have a slide that will present text, an audio clip, or a graphic on each trial. To do this, we will create a different slide state for each of these modalities. I've already added the text and audio slide states, and now we're going to add one for the graphic. To add a slide state, we're going to click this button here. And you can see that this creates a blank slide. If we wanted something for an existing state that had similar formatting options, we could clone it. So if we go to the audio, we can click, click clone, and that'll give us one that looks exactly the same. But for now, we're good with a blank one since it won't look anything like the audio stimulus. So we can go ahead and delete that clone. And we're going to rename our graphic slide state by going to the sub-object properties page. And we will call it graphic. Okay, and now we're going to add our picture. And in the properties for it, we are going to type the name of the folder that the pictures are saved in. And then we are going to reference our attribute that has the file names. And then since all of our pictures are, have the same extension, we're going to put the bitmap extension afterwards. Okay, so you can see that this is going to reference the file name list under graphic name. To learn how to use this list and our block list to change the way different states are presented, see the video on active slide states.